Welcome to this video about how to install the GraphQL add-on. This video is valid for OPEC V3CP4 and all world versions. First, you must download the GraphQL add-on. Just go on the Mega Community, OPEC Store, and click on the GraphQL add-on. Please make sure you download the latest available release by clicking the Download Latest Release button here. You will be redirected where the list of all available releases. Just pick up the one that is valid for, for your version and download the proper uh, setup. So here we are going to download uh, this particular uh, setup. Once the setup has been downloaded, you can launch the setup. When prompt, just press Run. Then follow the steps of the wizard. You have two components to install in the GraphQL add-on, the web part and the backend part. The web service must be deployed where the IIS frontend is deployed. The macro part must be deployed where OPEX is deployed. You can change the folder location to suit your OPEX deployments. As well as you can change the location of a WW route to suit your IIS deployment. If you have done the installation to one machine, the default value should be fine. Just press next. You will be prompted to fill in the URL of the SSP and the UOS as well as the SIG OPEX security key for the web part. Just type in the information in this part. In my case, I don't know the URL, so I will double check it in the OPEX config file. So I will go under initpub www root OPEX and I will upload the web config file to check the current values of this uh, current URL. It is important that you have the exact same values so that it will work. I will replace the information that was proposed. Be careful, the UAS URL is case sensitive. Make sure it is capitalized in every web config file of your OPEX installation. And set up the OPEX security key. If you don't know your OPEX security key, you can leave it blank and you will be able to change it later on. If you are not in a production environment, you can also directly enable the GraphQL that can be useful to build your queries, which I will do in this presentation. In that case, you will have to fill in the environment ID, repository ID, profile ID, and the users. This information is used only for GraphQL. When you'll be querying the API, you will have to fill in this information always. To get the environment ID, uh, you can uh, simply follow the video about converting the ID for the ID apps of an environment of a, or a repository. In my case, I will go to the deployment of OPEX and search for the tool that allows to do the conversion of the ID. That is located in the OPEX server supervisor Mega ID Converter. Just simply open the megasite.ini file where you will find the uh, environment ID located in the CFG folder and take the ID of the environment. You need to take the absolute identifier, which is this current value, and paste it into the setup. Remember, only do this if you are not in a production environment. If you are in production environment, you should not uh, fill in this information. I will now do the same for the user, uh, sorry, the repository, which is in my case located into the user public opex v3, pre v3, and megaon.ini, where I will get the same the identifier that I need to convert to this particular value.
we recommend you to have a dedicated uh, user and password. For the profile ID, uh, you should uh, define the profile that, that corresponds to the usage that you want to, to have of GraphQL. Remember, the API will be based on the profile rights. In that example, I will simply uh, put the profile ID of the OPEX customizer and I can press next and install. The file will be deployed in the IIS folder as well as in the program file uh, of Mega uh, that contains the installation of OPEX. To check your uh, setup is working, simply connect to the URL and type in uh, GraphQL. While it's loading, it's not yet working. You have to wait for this uh, loading page to be stopped and check what is the error. Here you can see there is, seems to be an error in the options, meaning that I probably made a mistake in the setup. To double check your error, go into your explorer and you should find an Apex GraphQL uh, folder, web.config, and you can edit this particular file. You will find here the option that you have put into the uh, setups. The most common mistake that can occur is the security key that may not be valid. In that case, I recommend you recopy the security key from an e the existing web config. Just go under W roots, opex, web.config, and simply copy the value of the security key to place it here and replace the one that was set by the installation. Just ensure your URL are correct, environment, repository, profile ID, login and password for the GraphQL. This piece will only be used for GraphQL. If you do not use GraphQL, leave it blank and do not put any password here. You should also disable the uh, testing web services and put it to false to disable uh, GraphQL. The setup obviously will have put it to false if you haven't checked the box. If you want to also double check everything went well in uh, OPEX uh, deployment, you can go into the folder of OPEX located into program file mega OPEX v3. You will find under .NET the OPEX GraphQL folder where you will find all the DLL and the config file. In this config file you will find a folder with your compatibility of OPEX platform. All the standard mapping schema of OPEX will be in standard. If you want to build custom, they should be placed into custom folder. If you want to ensure as well that the IIS deployment is correct, you can also open the Internet Information Service IIS and double check that the current folder of OPEX GraphQL has been properly converted to uh, an, app an application, which is the case here. If it's not the case, just right click and click convert to application. If you want to confirm the settings, just ensure the settings are correct, the application pool and the path and the location to the physical uh, storage of the files. Sometimes the password set by the setups can be wrong. So if you try to run the GraphQL and you get errors, you have to double check the application pool identity. If one of those pools is stopped, you should check the identity. The most common mistake that we see is the OPEX API MWAS identity that is not correct. To update the MWAS OPEX identity, just right click advanced settings, go to identity and update this information by setting again the information and putting again the password of the identity. In my case, it was correct, it not work, so I will not say. In your case, you may press OK. You're all set and you can now refresh your access to uh, GraphQL. 
by trying to make a query. If you did not install GraphQL, you can make a test using Postman, for instance, to double check the validity of the installation. The schema is now loaded, so I can now run my query and check that the system is working. No result based on the filter I made. If I remove it, the filters, I will have results. You can now use GraphQL. Enjoy!